Am I the asshole for not apologizing to a high-functioning autistic bully after calling him out? I, 15M, go to school with a guy I'll call Jake. Jake has high-functioning autism and is also a bully. He won't ever try on someone bigger than him, like me, but he will go after smaller guys, and seems to really like to go after the girls. He will always say he didn't understand what he said was inappropriate and he is never held accountable by the teachers. So on Monday he was really harping on a girl I'll call Laurie. I've known Laurie since I was six and I can say she is quiet, and keeps to herself because she's so self-conscious, because when she was little she was involved in a fire and got badly burned. He wouldn't stop telling her how ugly she was and how she'd never get a boyfriend because no one wanted to be around something like that. She said he was being cruel, but he still wouldn't stop. Laurie started crying, and our teacher tried to say he probably just didn't understand what he did, and I blew up. I said it was ridiculous that everyone kept giving him a pass to bully people because they're afraid of upsetting the autistic kid. Well I wasn't, and there was no way he didn't know it was inappropriate to call her ugly and continue insulting her even after she told him he was being cruel. He's a bully, him having autism doesn't make him any less of one and it was ridiculous to expect others to just get bullied to spare his feelings. The teacher gave us both detention and Jake is trying to play the victim, but I made it clear he was just a bully and I have no tolerance for bullies. The rest of the week, no one would talk to him or associate with him and now he's blaming me for ruining his life. His mom called my mom yesterday and asked me to apologize. I won't and now she's upset and says I'm bullying her kid. My mom says to do what I feel is best, but my grandmother thinks it was an asshole move to call him out in front of everyone and I should be the bigger person and apologize. Am I the asshole for not apologizing? Too long did not read, high-functioning autistic kid bullies other and made a girl I know cry, I called him out and refused to apologize for it. Not the asshole. You're completely right. While some autistic people do have a hard time with having a filter, blatantly doing it over and over and over again is clearly not his autism. It's just, as you said, bullying. Being a bully isn't exclusive to neurotypical kids, anyone can do it. Letting him pass like this is also not doing any good for Jake himself, no less anyone else, especially when it comes time for him to go out into the real world. Anyhow, good on you for defending Lori and not letting him get away with his shitty behavior, unlike everyone else. I bet she's beautiful and she doesn't deserve any of that. Don't apologize to Jake's mom either because he got what he deserved. You're a good guy. Not the asshole, the teachers and his mother are doing him a disservice by babying him. He's gonna have a real wake-up call when his mother is no longer able to take care of him and he either has to find himself a job or be homeless if his behavior keeps up. Not the asshole, you're a goddamn hero. This post is about to be flooded with people with autism telling you that you did the right thing. Good for you. Not the asshole. Tell his mom that you'll apologize to him only after he publicly apologizes to every kid he's bullied. Then list the kids and what he said to them. TBH his mom probably doesn't know how awful her son is or is trying to ignore it. Not the asshole. It sounds like Jake uses his autism as a defense to try and get away with bully behavior. Good for you for standing up for Laurie and don't apologize. You have nothing to be sorry for. If people refuse to be around him, well that's on him. You are not the asshole for not apologizing. You did what you believed to be right. And whether you were right or not isn't really the question. If you do something because it's the right thing to do never apologize for that. Autism is not a free pass to bully others. Not the asshole. I would apologize to him. Apologize that the school is letting him down by accepting his awful behavior. Tell him how sorry you are that the other kids don't want to play with someone who is so cruel to them. Tell him you're sorry his parents seem to be enabling his rude behavior, therefore stunting his social skills that much longer. I would apologize profusely if it were me. Not the asshole. Not the asshole you should tell his mom you'll apologize after he apologizes to all of the kids he's bullied. Most definitely not the asshole. Speaking as a higher functioning autistic person with all sorts of other fun issues like being bipolar, OCD, ADHD. Even I know better than this. Do not apologize. Continue to state exactly what it is you have been saying and don't back down. There are times in your life where what you do defines not only who you are, but also who you want to be, and this, my friend, sounds like one of them. Dude, not the asshole. 
I have autism, and that's one of my biggest pet peeves, is people using the way they're built to be a jerk. His mom is teaching him he's a special snowflake in shit manners. And he's going to continue to have consequences just like what you dealt out because he's a jerk. That is 100% life. Not the asshole good job for standing up for Laurie. Autism is not a pass for bullying. Hopefully this will discourage him from doing it anymore. Not the asshole. You're a great friend and you did exactly the right thing. Good on you. You are absolutely correct that autism is not an excuse and it sounds like you handled it with maturity. If his mum contacts you again, ask her to arrange apologies for Lori and other victims of her son and maybe then you can consider making amends in return. Edit to add not the asshole. Not the asshole. As someone with Asperger's myself, it's not an excuse for being a jerk. Having said that, it sounds like you could probably have handled the situation better if you got detention for how you did, but that doesn't make you ta. It just makes it a learning experience. Maybe go to a teacher instead of blowing up next time, depending on if that will work. Not the asshole. I bet the kid is a bully specifically because he's been allowed to get away with treating others however he wants, because he's autistic and doesn't know better. When obviously most people on the spectrum, who have been held accountable and are decent humans, would never treat people this way. As a parent myself I rarely say this, but I blame his parents. Not the asshole. It sounds like the mom is the R. When you have a child with a deficit you help them to be the best they can be. In no way should she excuse that behavior, or expect others to excuse that behavior. She is crippling his social skills with that type of attitude. Info. I would like you to clarify how you could possibly think you are the asshole. Not the asshole. Mommy's response is all the confirmation you need. She's responsible for the monster her kid is turning out to be. She's setting him up for massive failure and probably jail time once he hits the magic age of 18. Having autism is in no way an excuse to do whatever you want to whoever you want, good for you for finally showing that kid that consequences for actions exist. Where's the conflict? At what point would you have been an asshole? If you tried to fight him, insulted him, or anything, then sure, but on what earth does calling out someone's asshole behavior condemnable? Big time not the asshole. He's autistic, not stupid. This guy sucks and I have a feeling the teachers have been on the receiving end of his mom's unreasonable wrath before and that's why they're letting shit slide. I'd also like to say that I have a sibling who is autistic, not high functioning, though FYI that phrase is getting phased out in the community for ableism reasons. It's not super common knowledge yet and I don't think most people who use it mean it in an ableist way at all but it feels pertinent to share and our parents make a point of teaching him appropriate and kind behavior. Missing cues is not the same as ignoring requests. Not the asshole someone needs to tell his mother that she needs to make sure he doesn't continue to bully other people. She dropped the ball by letting him think that he can get away with whatever he wants because he is autistic. That's not the case as he is finally learning. Not the asshole. No matter what anyone else says, I'm sure what you said meant a lot to that poor girl. Let his mom think you are an asshole. The people who matter know you aren't one. Not the asshole. Autistic people bad. Not the asshole his mom is the problem. I have a son who has high functioning autism. I have been working with him, along with a counselor and at school he goes to a social group, to learn boundaries. My son is very smart. And once he learns what is not appropriate, he doesn't do it. This mom is lazy. The world doesn't revolve around her son because he processes things differently than others. Not the asshole autism or not. He was treating a young girl so poorly she was crying. You defended her. You're always not the asshole for that. And I'd remind your mom you were preventing a bully from continuing to mistreat her. Should you need to apologize for it? Not the asshole a bully is a bully. Autism is no excuse, especially when he's high functioning. And hash x200b. Thank you for defending his victim, and calling him out, when no one else did. Not the asshole. You were restrained I would have made that dude transfer schools with the caustic shit ID have brought up LMAO. Ugh. My sister is this kid. 13 and the worst for picking on the other kids in her year. Always comes off with, I didn't know, but calls it out in anyone else at the drop of a hat. Thanks for standing up for lorry, from a past lorry myself. Not the asshole. Not the asshole I wish someone had stood up to the bully in my high school who also had autism. 
he picked on my HS boyfriend constantly, physically beating him up and saying mean shit to him. He would also talk constantly about how he loved beating up prostitutes in GTHE asshole, like it was his favorite subject. Always got away with that kind of stuff. Towards graduation, he even threatened to commit a school shooting because he didn't want to move on and nothing was done about it. They just called his mom and she made him promise not to do it. Long story short, I understand what you and your classmates have been through. Good for you for standing up to him. That shit isn't gonna fly when he's an adult, and he needs to learn now what is appropriate and what isn't. Not the asshole he can be both autistic and a bully. Shame on the school for not sticking up for any of his victims. You're a good friend op. And then everybody clapped. 1. You've shown more compassion and grit than most adults. 2. You've highlighted a major issue in the public school system. 3. You're my hero. Amazing job. Tell grandma she's full of shit. I'm autistic, and while I'm not cruel I may sometimes say things that bother people without realizing. If someone tells me to stop or says what I said was hurtful, I will apologize and stop. You're not the asshole, because while autism may explain why someone may struggle socially, it doesn't excuse bad behavior. Jake was insulting Lori about her burn scars in front of everyone. You called him out in front of the same set of people. You already are the bigger person, you came to an innocent person's defense. Jake was speaking up for no reason other than cruelty. Not the asshole. Not the asshole mother of two ASD boys here. You can be autistic and a bully no doubt. Saying he doesn't understand is making my blood boil. If he did it and it was pointed out to him it was wrong, which has been done, from what you say, then it no longer applies. To continue to use that line as crying wolf and makes it ten times as hard for other struggling kids. Even if he didn't understand there is no reason for there still not to be consequences. He is mean to people so they don't want to be around him. It's a hard lesson but seems like he needs this. W-O-O-O-O-O-W not the asshole. I have autism. It doesn't give me an excuse to be a cruel dick or a bully. I can guarantee you he knows exactly what he's doing is wrong, good on you for calling him out on in and please continue to do so. Autistic person here. Autism is no excuse for being a bully, and he shouldn't be getting away with this, 100% not the asshole and he needs to learn to to be nice to people. Not the asshole. You were right. Disabilities aren't get out of jail free cards. The adults in his life can't keep babying him. Why the hell is it always autism here and there on this sub? Not the asshole. you absolutely did the right thing and I am sure it meant a lot to the girl who was being bullied. You have nothing to apologize for. His mother and the school are setting that young man up for failure. A workplace won't put up with that. Not the asshole. Tell Jake that being an asshole ruined his life and that it will continue to do so unless he gets an attitude adjustment. Well done op. Info, not enough info to decide, we have your story which is already filled with bias which may cloud judgment. Not the asshole if he said mean things because he didn't know it was inappropriate then why didn't he stop when she cried and said he was being cruel? Why doesn't he go after people bigger or stronger than him? Nah. He knew what he was doing. And my guess is that some of the teachers do too but find it easier to excuse his behavior than deal with it. Never apologize for calling out a bully. No one should make you feel like you owe this punk an apology, and kudos to your mom for having your back. Hopefully he'll back down a bit once he realizes there are actual consequences that do not include the vindication of hearing an apology. You did the right thing no matter what the enabling adults in his life say, and this internet stranger is proud of you. Grin thumbs up. Not the asshole. Sounds like he's using his autism as an excuse to be a dick. Jake's mom's a snitch. Not the asshole. Autism is a developmental disability, not a bullying disorder. Any autistic person knows when they say seriously something wrong. It's gray areas where the confusion happens and the differences between similar situations becomes hard to understand. He is a bully and an ASD diagnosis doesn't excuse that. Hey, I'm on the autistic spectrum and I'm around the same age as Jake. You want to know what I have to say? He's a baby who's never been told the word no. Frankly I would have punched him. Not the asshole. 